In the previous video, we learned how to balance chemical reactions. And that's a really, really, really important step in um, figuring out how much we can produce when we mix together reactants. Okay, and the point of this video is to, is to do just that, to start thinking about using balanced chemical reactions to predict how much product we can make if we start with a certain amount of reactant. Okay, so let's just start off with a balanced reaction. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring down this reaction that we did in the last video, okay? The double displacement reaction between zinc sulfide and aluminum phosphate. So the idea here is that if we know that we start off with, let's say, exactly one mole of zinc sulfide, we're able to figure out lots of things. So we're able to figure out Number one, how much aluminum phosphate we need to use. Okay, so if we react one mole of zinc sulfide, we can figure out how much aluminum phosphate we need to react with that zinc sulfide. We could also figure out how much zinc phosphate we can make. We could also figure out how much aluminum sulfide could be made. So these are all answer, these are all questions that we can answer from the balanced chemical reaction. Okay, and the key to this is recognizing that these coefficients we've put here, right? So when we balanced it, we put these coefficients out front. And this tells us that when three zinc sulfide molecules react. So when three molecules of zinc sulfide react, two molecules of aluminum phosphate react, okay? So that is our important conversion when we're thinking about chemical reactions. So if we have one mole of zinc sulfide, then we can use these coefficients, we call them stoichiometric coefficients. So stoichiometric coefficients we can use these stoichiometric coefficients as a conversion factor. So our balanced reaction tells us that for every three moles of zinc sulfide, right, so this three here, for every three moles of zinc sulfide, we are gonna consume two moles of aluminum phosphate. So if we, if we think about our units now, what we see is that we cancel out moles of zinc sulfide and we'll be left with moles of aluminum phosphate. So when we, when, we, when we actually do this math, we find out this is 0 0.667 moles of aluminum phosphate that is consumed when we react one mole of zinc sulfide, okay? So the idea here is that moles are central in this conversion. We can use these coefficients, three and two. Over here, it's actually one. If nothing's written, it's one. One aluminum sulfide. We can use those coefficients as conversion factors to go between moles of a reactant and moles of anything else in that chemical reaction. So let's try the second question here. How much zinc phosphate can be made? Right, let me scroll up here. So once again, we have one mole of zinc sulfide. And from our balanced reaction, for every three moles of zinc sulfide, we're gonna produce one mole of zinc phosphate. So in this case, we do the math. We see that 0 0.333 moles of zinc phosphate that we can possibly make, okay? We would do exactly the same thing for aluminum sulfide. We would have, let's go ahead and do this. So we have one mole of zinc sulfide and we wanna figure out how much aluminum sulfide we can make. So from our balanced reaction, we have three moles of zinc sulfide, we have one mole of aluminum sulfide, so for every three moles of zinc sulfide, we can make one mole of aluminum sulfide. 
and following units are moles of zinc sulfide cancel. We're left with moles of aluminum sulfide, but this gives us 0 0.333 moles of our aluminum sulfide. Okay, so if you have a balanced chemical reaction and you know how, um, how many moles of one reactant or one product you have, then you're able to use these stoichiometric coefficients to relate the amounts of the other reactants or products. In the next video, we're going to see how we can use this idea of converting from reactants to products and apply um, a measurable unit of mass. Okay, so if we know the mass of zinc sulfide, would we be able to figure out the mass of aluminum sulfide that we could make?